Agatha has just been released from like a psychiatric hospital, I guess, um, where she's been for the last, I don't know, since she was probably 12. Uh, and she's just come to LA to try and find her family and reconnect with her family. I thought it was so sweet and so sad that in this, amongst this, you know, family and, you know, these parents who are so sort of celebrity obsessed, um, here's this like girl who's in turn like really obsessed with her family and idolises them in the way that they idolise sort of celebrities and, and making their own son like a star. Every character is very real, but also very distinctly sort of their own, uh, I don't even know what that is, their own thing. I love, you know, I love the gloves that she has, the, the scar and, and the rituals she has, the poems and the pills, and I like all this stuff that's very distinctly uh, and very much an original character. You know, I t don't really know exactly how to articulate like what it says about celebrity culture but there is a feeling that I got from this that was so um, unsettling um, and particularly unsettling because I'm a part of you know the uh, I guess a part of the film world or Hollywood in a removed way but I am still that's my industry so it was particularly unsettling to to read it and sort of think oh there's so many sort of truths in it even though it's a um, like a slightly sort of like exaggerated version. It's been really wonderful he's a really sweet person really kind and sort of softly spoken and and very much sort of leaves you up to your own devices he's very hands-off and um, and just sort of trusts that you are the character what you bring is is um, sort of you know the right way to go so it's really it's great I mean he's He's very laid back and um, only does like one or two takes if he can help it and um, so we move quickly which is really good.